Have you ever seen 11 tons of cocaine? That is 11,000 kilos. And this video shows them stacked into poles of five in a courtyard surrounded by armed police in Spain. This was seized in the middle of December last year after police had done an operation to try to find an Albanian gang they believe were responsible for the importation of large amounts of the drug. We also have video footage of the moment that the police actually arrested several Albanian nationals while they were unloading the drugs from a lorry. Armed police stormed the vicinity and they pointed guns at them and discovered the drugs were hidden in an importation of tuna. The operation was called Vigo and they found initially 7,500 kilos of cocaine and then they found another 3,400 in two operations that were connected. The Spanish police said they was importing a lot of drugs via this method and they also believe that they are responsible for importing a lot of firearms as well. 44% of most firearms that are found in the EU are connected to drug trafficking and this was a recent report that was done and the links are available on the website. I'll leave a link in the description. <laughs> Que se les ha jodido esto en la batería, por eso se han pirado, pues es que. What the police have noticed is that drugs that are coming through the Balkan states, such as Yugoslavia and, the Al and Albania, are often mixing up drugs and firearms from past wars that have occurred, and these eventually make their way to the streets of European countries that include the UK. Europol said in 2019 that the use of firearms by criminal gangs was increasing, and the firearms are mainly coming from the Eastern European market. I have never seen 11 tons of cocaine in any video in one seizure and this shows the scale that drug gangs are operating on and also how much demand there is for narcotics across the world. In this next story, the National Crime Agency has released a statement to say that several days ago, uh, three British people have been arrested in relation to an importation of 1.2 tons of cocaine that was seized in the Atlantic Ocean. The National Crime Agency worked with police in France and Spain in order to be able to intercept the shipment. The operation led to a Spanish yacht being seized 1,200 miles east of Martinique by a French Navy boat. And this occurred on the 20th of December. The police found 40 bales of cocaine on board that they said is weighing 1.2 tonnes and would be worth nearly £100 million if it had made it to the UK. The three crew members were arrested and one of them was from Scotland. He was 29 years old and he was the skipper of the vessel. 
Following the interception, the police made further investigations and arrested another five people. Two of these were British, a 62-year-old who was originally from Lincolnshire and he was a resident now in Spain and also his 24-year-old son. The police arrested them in Spain at a restaurant in Marbella on the 21st of December. All five of them are in custody. So this shows how many different operations are ongoing at any one time. And in this other story coming from Spain as well, the police discovered nearly a ton of cocaine after they found 100 kilos inside a car that they had stopped. In December of 2023, the police realised there was a Spanish gang that was operating on a large scale and importing drugs into Tenerife. A total of nine people have been arrested in a series of raids and they found 100 kilos inside the back of a car and they raided a chalet that was a luxury one they said and found another 950 kilos that was being guarded by two armed men. So I really appreciate you joining me for these updates. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and follow on social media as well at Scar City Studios. I'll be back again shortly. Peace.